How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be working on this Keyhin FCR carburetor that came off of a 2013 WR250F. Now this bike was experiencing some issues where it was having some bog off the line as well as some issues where it only wanted to run on choke. Now I've already gone ahead and cleaned all the internals of the carburetor which I will link in at the end of this video if you guys want to watch that process but today I'm going to be doing a little bit of accelerator pump tuning and I'll show you guys how to bring it back to factory spec. So diving right into it, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your two covers. You're going to want to remove the cap right here, as well as your throttle assembly cover on the side. What we're going to want to be looking at is this assembly right here. What I want you to notice is as I pull up on the slide here, you'll notice that that assembly is pushed down. As the slide goes up, it pushes the arm down. Now, it might be a little hard to see, but in there you could see a silver colored rod. I'll do my best to point it out to you, it is right there. Now that silver colored rod, what that does is it pushes down into this diaphragm down at the very bottom. Under ideal circumstances, what will happen is that as this slide pulls up and that arm pushes down into the diaphragm, under ideal circumstances, you'll see that a stream of gas will come out of that jet right there, the little brass jet, and into your intake. Now, what you're wanting is you want it to start spraying as soon as this slide opens. I'll give you guys a quick demonstration of what it looks like when it is properly set versus when you have a malfunctioning accelerator pump. So when you're tuning the accelerator pump, you can have two options, right? You can accelerate it or you can delay it. If you accelerate it too far, what can end up happening is that you're going to be spraying too soon. Now, if you're spraying too soon, what's going to end up happening is as the slide pulls up, it won't have enough time to start spraying and it will spray against the slide. So you're going to defeat the purpose of it and you won't send fuel into your intake. As you can see right here, I've already been playing with it and we even have a little bit of gas on the slide right now just from tuning it. Uh, now, if it's too far delayed, what can happen is it won't start spraying until it's way up here. And so your accelerator pump will kick in too late. And on both ends of the spectrum, you're gonna end up with bog and your motor is not gonna perform the way you want it to. So too far delayed essentially would be if it was turned all the way in. So I'll quickly do that for you and I will turn it all the way in so you can see what that looks like. So as you can see, there's a bit of slack in the system and that is not what you want. I could even turn it in a little bit more and you'll see the slack is gonna increase. Now on the other end of the spectrum, if you want to accelerate it, you're gonna unscrew it. And as you unscrew, this means it's going to spray in sooner. You can see that as I'm unscrewing it, it's actually pushing the diaphragm down. With each turn, it's pushing a little bit more. Uh, now, you don't want this either. So in order to bring it back to factory setting, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it in until you see some slack in the system. No slack yet. All right, so we found a little bit of slack in the system. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is start turning it out slowly. And just keep testing it and wait till you see when there's no slack. Right about there. I'm even gonna go one more turn. All right, so now there is no slack in the system and I can test out the pump and I can see if it is tuned properly. Perfect. So you can see a nice strong stream of gas. It does not hit the slide. And I'm, I'll do it one more time, but I'm getting a little bit of gasoline on my wall here. There you go. Now that's tuned back to factory settings and you will not have any bog off the line.
All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. In terms of my diagnosis for what was wrong with this carburetor, I found two main issues. The first being that the accelerator pump was slightly clogged that you could see uh, in that malfunctioning video that I included. It was spraying down instead of into the intake. Uh, it was a pretty easy fix. I just ran some carb cleaner through it, took care of it right away. Uh, then a more internal issue that I noticed when I was cleaning this carburetor was that the pilot, aka the idle jet, did need to be replaced. It was tarnished and it had some damage from being stripped out by a previous technician. Uh, so I got that replaced uh, and I'm hoping this carburetor should be good as new. If you guys have any questions in terms of carburetor tuning or cleaning or any issues related to your bike, feel free to throw a comment in that comment section down below. And if you're interested in seeing what it looks like to clean an FCR carburetor like this one, click on that other video link and take a look at that. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.